PowerShell is a really great tool and now it's on Linux. I'm going to show you how to get it installed and how to get a scripting environment installed as well. So here we go. I'll put a link to this site in the description below. This is Microsoft's uh, page on how to install PowerShell on Linux. They have different instructions for a number of distributions. You should be able to get it to work pretty much any way you want to. Um, I am using Arch. It is available in the AUR Arch user repository, but right now that package is not supported by Microsoft and it's a little bit iffy. So I'm going to be installing the snap package. So if we go right here and there is this, I'm just going to copy this guy and I'm going to paste it into the terminal. Now this uses the uh, classic version of snap and it's a little bit weird. You might get a strange error message. If you do, you can just Google that for a single one line command to resolve that. Basically a directory has to be mapped to point to another directory. But once that's done, the classic snap install should be no problem. And just like that, we have PowerShell. So the command to run it is PWSH. And just like that, we have a PS prompt. So let's, uh, let's make this guy a little bit bigger. All right, so let's do like a git command. And yeah, you can see I tabbed a couple of times and I see all the options we have. I'm going to do a noun process. And that shows me all the commands that have process. I can do a git help on git process. And that shows me how to use the git process command and what it does. I can do a PS version table. Tab complete works wonderful. And this tells me I am using PowerShell version 6.2.3 in Arch running Linux 5.4.3. So, um, yeah, that's working. But it's not a great environment for creating scripts, which takes us to the next thing I'm going to show you. And that is on this website, which I'll also link below. Visual Studio Code. Microsoft has not made available to Linux a copy of the PowerShell integrated scripting environment, but they have made this available and it's, it's a good alternative. It doesn't do everything that ISC does, but it does what it does. It does really well. So likewise, we're going to go to the snap store to get that. And that's it. This is the command we're looking for. sudo snap install code classic. So I don't even have to exit PowerShell. I can just paste it right in here and watch it go. And after just a couple of minutes, we have VS Code installed. So from here, uh, we can look in our programming menu and there it is, Visual Studio Code. So let's open that up and see what it looks like. All right. So when you start uh, VS Code up, it's going to look something like this. Yeah, it's going to look something like this. Uh, and the first thing we want to do is install the PowerShell extension. So we'll come to this little block looking guy, type in PowerShell, press enter, highlight him, and install. It installs right from the program. It asks you to set your color theme. By default, it uses the ISC color theme, which I kind of like. We're good with all of this. Um, yeah, so now we can come here. And here's a little program I wrote to just kind of explain uh, what's going on here. Um, you can click that to get rid of that. Now, this is actually pretty nice. It has uh, things you're working on up here. You can move between the tabs. 
Uh, you can open multiple terminals. It doesn't have all the little buttons that the uh, Windows ISE has. It doesn't have all the help tools that the Windows ISE has, but it does do things like IntelliSense autocompletes. So that's pretty awesome. Write host. Hello world. And then if you press F8 on the line that you're on, it will run that. Or you can highlight something. So here's uh, like PS version table. We can run that again, F8. And there's that. Uh, clear. All right. So yeah, you can use this to write script. So uh, right here, we can um, create a variable called name, give it the value Larry. Notice when I click on name, it highlights it everywhere. That's useful. And then I say if name equals Harry, write hello Harry, else write host your night Harry. So highlight that, run, Larry isn't Harry, so he gets told you're not Harry. But if I change Larry to Harry, He's Harry, so hello Harry. Um, and you can do fun stuff like background color green. And and there you go. Um, and what the heck? Foreground color red. Yeah. So yeah, there is a lot to learn. There's a lot to play with. You can spend so much time working on PowerShell, but all I'm doing in this video is showing you how to get it running. Learning how to do it is way beyond the scope of what I can show you right here. Um, I'm certainly not an expert in PowerShell, but I'm learning myself and I'll probably make some videos in the future showing you some, uh, how to do some things with it that uh, you may find interesting. Um, all right, we have installed PowerShell, we have installed VS Code, we have set it up, and we have it running. Oh, one other very important thing I want to show you. If you start uh, a VS Code document, you need to come down here and, and click on this guy to set the language mode. By default, it's going to be a plain text file, and there's nothing you can do with that. So, uh, yeah, just click on that, change it to PowerShell, and then uh, the autocomplete and everything will start working. So, that is PowerShell on Linux. I hope that's helped. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you next time.